while in police custody for alleged rape and human trafficking, controversial internet personality Andrew Tate sought assistance from right-wing Romanian politicians. After being arrested in December, Tate and his brother Tristan are still in prison awaiting trial. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. According to Reuters, the wiretaps of Tate's phone that were presented to a court by Romanian prosecutors demonstrate that he instructed associates to contact George Simeon and Diana Ivanovici Sosoaca. The first is the leader of the right-wing nationalist and conservative party Aur, and the second was a key figure in the anti-vaccination movement during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to reports, Tate argued that he was being framed and that it would be, very good for their careers, to support him. Explain it to them clearly. You will get a ton of votes when Tate says you agreed with their position, Andrew Tate expressed, as indicated by the wiretaps referred to by Reuters. A document dated February 21 contains the call transcripts from January 28 through January 31. Reuters reported that Simeon had not been contacted by Tate or his associates and would not publicly support Tate if asked to do so. The transcripts, according to a spokesperson for Diana Sosoaca, were, lies, intended to harm the senator. On January 25, Romanian prosecutors conducted forensic searches on laptops and mobile phones to find additional evidence in the case against social media personality Andrew Tate, who has been held on suspicion of human trafficking and organized crime. Tate, 36, a British-American dual citizen with nearly 5 million Twitter followers, was initially detained in Bucharest, the capital of Romania, at the end of December with his brother Tristan and two Romanian women. As they were led to the Bucharest offices of Romania's Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism, the two brothers appeared to be in handcuffs. Andrew Tate, who was a social media star for a while, has been banned from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. A campaign that portrayed Tate as damaging to his primarily young audience led to the imposition of the bans. Also immediately following the bans, Tate shut down his Hustlers University affiliate marketing program. Members of the program, which assisted Tate in gaining a large following, had the opportunity to earn commissions by referring new members to the program and were urged to share videos of Tate on social media to get more referrals. The course, which Tate claimed had more than 80,000 participants, cost $49 per month. Dot. According to a spokesperson for Meta, which owns both Instagram and Facebook, Tate's official accounts were removed from the social media platforms last week due to Tate's violation of the company's policies regarding dangerous organizations and individuals. Additionally, the spokesperson for Meta confirmed that the ban is indefinite. Before Tate was fired, he had 4.7 million Instagram followers. A spokesperson for TikTok also stated that Tate's account has been permanently banned as a result of the platform's investigation. Software is being used by TikTok to find and remove any more videos that violate its community guidelines. Additionally, the platform will mark certain content so that it will not be recommended to users, for you, feeds. The spokesperson for TikTok stated, misogyny is a hateful ideology that is not tolerated on TikTok. As we remove violated...